so what's up guys welcome to another episode of buzz lady quick one happy new year i'm so excited to be here today okay to see you guys i'm so excited to be here today and i uh, believe you guys have been enjoying your holiday with your family and loved ones so guys i'm going to show you some fingering exercises you can kick off with for the year okay and these exercises they will really really help your fingering your your speed your tone your dexterity they will really help you to improve okay i know since the holiday some of you have not been practicing you've not even picked the base and this is a good start you know starting the year with some fingering exercises so that you will be able to flow all through the remaining days of this year 2021 so get your base let's get started all right guys i'm going to be using the key e e okay e major Okay, so the first exercise I'm going to take it this way. This is what we are going to do. Okay, it's kind of open string. You can see the consistent um, open note. That's my E. That is what I have outside there. My E. So you go. Let's take for instance this is our one one okay so don't forget we're on key of c so definitely if this is my one that i'm playing out there this will be my one six one flat seven seven one okay okay so what this does it helps your fingers to be independent and to have drip each and every one of them okay so this you're building this to have more strength you're also building the middle finger to have more strength the ring finger to have more strength and the pinky finger also so that's it so you're coming from the g string where you have your sixth note this is your root and this is your sixth note so you go from your g string you climb up to your d string from your D string, you climb up to your A string. From your A string, you climb up to your E string. Okay, that's how we are going. So you go. Constantly practice this, it kind of helps your fingers to be independent. 
okay and to be flexible so they are gaining um tone they are also gaining accuracy let's play it with the metronome okay so you can practice this if you if you if you if you do music full time you can practice this all day if you if you're a worker you can give this at least 40 to 60 minutes every day either you're back from work or when before you leave for work okay you can just try this okay it helps it helps okay so that's the number two number three we are going to do this So don't forget, everything that I'm showing you, we are on the key of E, okay, E major. So my starting note is C, so I'm playing 6, 4, flat 2, 2, then you got the chromatic, walk up, so from 3, 4, flat 5, okay, so that's the first move. again on the D string then then you're repeating it again on the A string then you're going so this comes first before the six four two flat two three four flat five five three one flat six six then you go seven one flat two two then you go seven five flat three three then you go flat five five flat six six why i say this is my three because this is my two and this is my one Just continue to repeat the pattern. Again, you're going do, 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 do. see both of them responded one, two, three, four. So that's it. Now the next move is you're running a major scale. You're going to run the E major scale. So you go then you move to the next key. Okay? So at this time, I want us to use the key C, so that will help us to keep going, to keep going. So you go. <laughs> so you keep going, you keep, you just keep going, okay? So let's play that with the metronome and see how it goes. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
shout on D flat, D, you keep going until you get to the last um, notes. Your C major scale it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. Okay, so you go 1, 3, 5, 7, 6, 4, 2, 5. Then you use the middle finger on the next key. Then you keep going. So this is it. So guys, the last exercise I want to show you, this look and sound like the spider exercise. The normal spider exercise we've been practicing. The number one is... That's it. That's the number one. So this one you're using just three fingers. The index, the ring finger and the pinky. So the reason for this exercise is to strengthen more of the pinky finger and the ring finger. Okay, so... only finger that is not doing anything is the middle finger okay okay ba, ba, da, ba. and look at the peak the right hand root seven root one okay root seven root one So you just have to stick with practice, stick with um, fingering exercises, they help, they help a lot. You know, there are some kind of um, approach you see some professional bass player do. That's because they practice, they practice fingering exercises, okay? And through those fingering exercises, that has helped them to achieve some certain move on the bass guitar. Hope you enjoy it. Hope this is helpful. And if you're new to this channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Looking at you right there. You can't afford to miss new videos I upload every week. Okay? Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay? And for private lessons, some of you have been telling me this year you're going to enroll for the private lesson. It's open now. So come in for registration. Every information is in the description below or right there on the screen looking at you okay it's gonna be a live zoom section where we get to see each other one-on-one -on -one. okay send me an email chat me by whatsapp indicating you want to join the private lesson and also to my patreon fan i want to say a big thank you to you guys thank you for your support okay and if you also want to become a patreon fan every information is in the description below or right there on the screen looking at you okay and there are other means you can also support by paypal Okay, and um, thank you guys. I will see you in my next video. Peace out. Bye.